All right, boys and girls, welcome back. So today is Monday, and on Mondays we do something called visualization in poetry. So what I first want you to do is get a white blank paper. You're gonna hold it the long way, okay? And you're gonna fold it like a hot dog, so that means like this, the longest side. So we're gonna go ahead and do that fold. And it's the longest side. So if you do the opposite side, it's, it's gonna look a little funny. So once you are here, now you're gonna fold. So you just kind of made it take a bow, right? Now you're gonna fold the opposite way. Okay, once should look like this. You're gonna fold one more time, same direction. Like this. So when you open it up, you end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different sections. So as an example, every stanza, every paragraph section that you have in your poem, say for example, on Mondays we do visualization. So I expect you guys to do me a nice, pretty illustration, a drawing of what is going on and they have to be colored. So take for example, this is another poem and I have a very detailed illustration of what is going on. Everything that is in the poem is in here. It is colored and the whole square is taken over with the picture. That is what I expect you guys to do with all of the eight stanzas that we're going to read today. All right, without further ado, let's get started. The Spider and the Fly, written by Mary Howitt from 1799 to 1888. Will you walk into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that you ever did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair. And I have many pretty things to show you when you are there. said the little fly. To ask me is in vain. For who goes up your winding stair can now come down again. So go ahead and take a pause and think about what just happened. Who is asking those questions? Who is being invited in? And is she saying yes or no? So I want that illustration. Continuing on. I'm sure you must be worried, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed? Said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around, and the sheets are fine and thin. And if you'd like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh, no, 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 said the little fly. For I have often heard it said, they never, never wake again or sleep upon your bed. Take a moment. Illustrate. the cunning spider to the fly. Oh dear friend, what shall I do to prove my warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please to take a slice. Oh, no, 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 said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard of what's in your pantry, and I do not wish to see. Oh, sweet creature, 
said the spider. You're witty and you're wise. How handsome are、oh, your gauzy wings! How brilliant are your eyes! I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you'll step in a moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. Take a moment. What do you visualize? What is he trying to convince her of doing? What do you see? I, I thank you, gentle sir. She said, for, for what you are pleased to say, <laughs> and bidding you good morning. Now, I'll call another day. The spider turned him around about and went into his den, for well he knew the silly fly would soon be back again. So he wove a subtle web into a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. <clears throat> Illustrate what he did while she was gone. Then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing, "Come hither, come hither, pretty fly, with the pearl and silver wing, your robes." All green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like diamond bright, but mine are as dull as lead. Alas, alas! How very soon this silly little fly. <sighs> Pause. What did he do to call the fly? Draw it. What do you visualize? Hearing his willy flattening words, came slowly flitting by, with buzzing wings. She hung aloft, then near and near drew. <laughs> Thinking only of her. Brilliant eyes and green purple hue, thinking only of her crested head. Poor foolish thing! At last, up jumped the cunning spider, ha! And fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up into the winding stair, into his dismal den. Within his little parlor, but she never came out again. And now, little children, and now, dear little children, who may this story read? To idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you never give heed. And to an evil counselor, close heart, and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. So again, you're gonna go back and look at each stanza. I'm gonna show you the videos again. Each stanza, I want an illustration detailed. So I should have eight illustrations, right? Eight total illustrations, colored in detail of what is happening. And so that's usually what we do with poetry on Mondays: visualization. All right, guys. So good luck. I hope you enjoyed the poem. We'll see you next time.